didn't see you there. I can't believe I just did that. What's up, everybody? Mike Heck from The Mike Show on Live 95.9. And this is a little kickoff of something I wanted to try out here, a new video blog type series, uh, chronicling and telling tales of raising children in 2018. And in my case, a four-year-old, soon to be five-year-old. So for those who listen to the radio station uh, and, and check out these videos and stuff, I have a four-year-old, my wonderful wife and I, and his name is Grayson. And honestly... Overall, he is a, he's an awesome kid. He's very happy, he's silly, he's funny, he sings and dances. He's just, he's awesome. However, he does have that little piece of him, that small little thing inside of him that I had as a, as a child. And let's be honest, I still kind of have it today as, an, as a soon-to-be 35-year-old. It is called stubbornness. Us Hex, we have it in spades. It is in our bloodline. It is part of our DNA. And I can be a super stubborn person. And it's fair to say that this is a trait that I got from... My dad, along with with the balding here, as you can see, the, the shine. Not the scratch golf game he has. I, I didn't get the scratch golf game. I got the stubbornness and the baldness. But anyways, Grayson is, is just an awesome kid. However, he, as most kids are, is a habitual button pusher. Just like I was as a kid, just like I kind of am today. So when I was a kid, pulling off the stunts that he was pulling off, my mother used to say to me, you know what, Michael? Someday, you're gonna have a son, and he is gonna be just like you. I hope that happens. Well, you're welcome, world. Not that he's hes a much better kid than I was, but he does have that, that stubbornness trait, that button-pushing trait. Now, here's a specific example of what I'm talking about. So let's just say, as a parent, you have something in your house, and we all have these things that you don't want your kids to touch. Yet, they are compelled to touch it. It's like the golden egg in the Indiana Jones movie. Indiana Jones knows that a giant ball of doom is coming his way if he grabs this thing. But does he grab it and replace it with a dusty, disgusting, dirty green sack? You bet he does, people. And much like most children, they do the same thing. So let's just say, for example, it's a picture frame hanging on the wall with a great photo of the, of the family. And he decides to grab a little step stool, grab a little thing, and pull this thing off the wall. And he shows you. Oh, look at this picture, Mommy and Daddy. And then you, you politely ask him, can you, can you not grab that? It's important to us. It's a nice picture. I don't want you to break it. Can you hand it over so I can put it back? Um, no thank you. Maybe he doesn't understand the significance, so I'm not going to get mad just yet. He's young. Let's explain it a little bit better. Let's explain it a little bit more, shall we? Grayson, buddy, can I please have it back? It's super important. It's mine. Now we're getting ourselves into this position where we have to make a decision. Do we give this kindness thing, this understanding thing, another shot, or do we head into the world of yelling, putting the proverbial foot down? Now, most of the time, I, I feel like I'm a fair guy. I try to take the road less traveled, go right down the middle. And most of the time, stop! Stop, Daddy! I said no! Now, we have to get a little louder, don't we? We have to instill fear, in a way. You put that photo down! And normally, it results into kind of an angry acceptance of him listening, but then as a parent, for us, the victory is just not enough. We got it done, didn't we? Didn't we achieve our goal? But we have to get greedy, don't we? We have to throw in that one last shot. We have to throw in that one last command in there. I know I do. Don't touch it again. Here's what he hears. Oh man, I know I'm not supposed to touch it, but how can I do this? If I were to full on pick this thing up, he's gonna get really mad. But what if I throw a curveball? How can I find that loophole where my dad won't go fully through the roof? Oh, I know. I'll do this. I'm just ever so gingerly and as lightly as possible going to take the tip of this index finger and graze the frame while staring directly into his eyes. Okay, so far so good. Now for the coup de grace. I'm going to flash a little smirk at him. There we go. Now, as a parent, we have just hit another fork in the road. Do we just explode here? Do we yell and scream? I mean, he's testing us, right? They're testing us at this point. Or do we do what I normally do and just kind of laugh hysterically that he just he just did this? He, he made me in this situation. And I can't tell you how many times I try to get mad, but then I just break out in laughter after the fact. Oh, you're gonna... <laughs> you got me again. You little man. You got me today. Kudos to you. You win this round, but the battle commences. Listen, we all know this. Parenting is tough, and 
we're going to dive more into this stuff each week on the page. So if you have a topic you want to cover in the parental world, if you got your own story that we want to kind of break down and talk about, let me know in the comments. You can hit us up on Facebook or you can send me an email, which is boom, right there. Mike.heck at townsquaremedia.com. Subscribe to our page. We'll do this every week. We'll dive into your stories. We'll talk more about our stories at home. And I mean, we love our kids, but sometimes we get to help each other with this parenting stuff. It is not easy, as you all know, who are parents out there. So thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you next week.